Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kapil. Welcome to Dig with Geek. Today we are going to talk about why I use a MacBook as a sys admin or why I say that MacBook is the perfect companion or a perfect system for a sys admin. See, I own a hosting company where I offer shared web hosting, dedicated servers, VPS, etc. Since I own a hosting company, I look after all day-to-day -day tasks like server management, support tickets. I do have a support team under me working for me, other technicians also working under me. But still, I have to look after a lot of things which includes server management, that is sys admin tasks because most of the L2 or L3 tasks are being taken care of by me. Then I even look after support tickets, which my techs are not able to handle. I look after sales and billing. And the most important thing, I take care about the abuse because I cannot rely on a third person for abuse, especially if uh, any major crime or any major abuse is involved in it. I even deal with a lot of hack attempts on daily basis. Especially they do target my servers, but that's a different thing that like all companies basically have to face it But I do get a lot of direct hack attempts to hack my PC or computer or my uh, MacBook they, These hackers try to do it so that if they could hack my personal system They can easily get access to all my servers a lot of times these hackers mail me with uh, what you say infected URLs virus Trojan ransomware and like whatnot basically they try each and every trick that they can to hack my system. I, I cannot actually use a lot of filtering to take out all this malicious content automatically because I may miss some important email due to false positive. Because if I have a lot of automated filtering, I may end up losing some very important or critical abuse complaint. And uh, that's very bad morally as well as very bad for business. Because uh, if you kind of ignore you may not be doing it uh, intentionally, but if it gets ignored, you may like the, uh, the person who is complaining or the person who is basically facing damages due to it may sue your company. So it's very important that I cannot have any kind of filtering enabled for my abuse content. Now when it comes to abuse, I handle basically all kind of abuse complaints, which involves uh, phishing content, no, malicious URLs that could actually infect my computer if I visit them because it's not possible that I just get a complaint and I immediately suspend or shut down a paying customer account I have to actually verify that the complaint is genuine I cannot take action just on the basis because some third person has complained about it I have to verify it now to verify it sometimes I have to even visit those malicious URLs to make sure they are actually malicious and the complaint is genuine so basically I am at a very high risk of being infected or hacked right now since I am using a Mac I basically directly visit those sites without being worried. Now suppose if I was using Windows, I could not risk doing that because I will be solely dependent upon the antivirus or the firewall that is installed on my PC or computer or laptop, whatever am I am using. But since I am using Mac, I actually need not worry about it because Windows is actually a very, very high risk target because since it's one of the most popular desktop operating system, so most of the viruses, trojans or malicious content or the malwares, ransomware, etc. are actually made for Windows. Mac is not such a big target. Moreover, Mac itself is actually a very secure operating system. It is based on NetBSD as far as I know. So the structure of the way it is created and if you have installed all the patches that Apple releases on a regular basis, basically it's a very secure system. You can visit almost any website unless and until of course it's a zero day website for which Apple has not yet created a patch. Now suppose if I was using Windows, I will be solely dependent upon antivirus. Now just imagine if uh, the antivirus is not updated by any reason or maybe for the malicious site is using some zero to exploit for which even my antivirus or firewall does not have the patch or the what you say its database is not updated or maybe windows or microsoft has not released the patch for windows in that case i'm at very very high risk of getting infected as i said earlier windows is actually a very popular target for hackers or malicious users mac is not at the same level it's not so popular basically these hackers or these criminals they are after finance they are after money so they target the broader audience not the smaller one so the thing is most of these exploits or um, malicious viruses trojans or these malicious programs they won't affect any mac os as long as it's fully updated so this is actually the main the primary reason for using a macbook as a sysadmin now let's talk about other reasons now since mac os is actually based on the uh, net bsd it provides all the tools that you get with any Unix environment, whether it's Linux or any other uh, Unix uh, related Unix type system. You get a terminal or console access with it where you can run almost all the softwares that you can run on any typical Unix or Linux system. Like you can SSH from it, you can install MTR, uh, you can run MTR from it, which is very, very important for uh, network troubleshooting. You can uh, use different uh, DNS tools like DIG. You can even FTP to other servers. Basically, you can run each and every command that any other Linux OS can run. Yes, I understand now PowerShell is available uh, with even with Windows, but it's still new and I have been using this Mac since ages. So 
actually this tools are much more developed and working like in a much better way on a mac os rather than what you can get on a windows and again the security issue is still there with windows not only this mac os has native support for uh, bash shell so basically you can run all, all kind of shell scripts you can run python scripts you can run Perl or whatever you want to run. Now, I actually, I myself actually use a few shell scripts and even Python based scripts to monitor my servers, which on regular basis log into my servers, check for raid status, etc. etc. Despite like whatever I want, I keep my MacBook on 24 by 7. It's always docked and connected to my monitor as long as I am at home or office. If I am on the move, of course, it won't be. But since it's always docked, I am my system regularly connects to all my servers, run various tasks, check for raid errors if the it, if it's degraded or something, it alerts me. So in this way, a lot of things are handled directly from a personal system. I don't need to set up any uh, special uh, third-party system that will monitor for all these kind of things. In not only this, I actually even run a script that regular on regular basis log into my billing system. It uh, creates a dump of MySQL and downloads it on a uh, daily basis. I know, I know some of you might say, why not then use a Linux system? Linux can, since I'm using Mac OS, just because I can run all the tools or command that I have the Linux support, then why not use a Linux? See, Linux is not as secure as a Mac OS when it comes to desktop environment. I'm not talking about server environment, I will talk about it later on because in that we use a lot of different things to actually make it secure for server environment. But now for a desktop environment, I don't think of consider it as secure as Mac OS. And not only this, Linux is actually an open source system and it's actually the most popular server operating system in the world as a result it also has a very big target on its back so a lot of vulnerabilities what a lot of exploits keep coming out on daily basis for linux so with mac os what happens i enjoy the graphical environment and along with that i get all the power of the cli environment as well now suppose if i agree to use linux for linux what i will need i will again need to buy uh, some uh, normal intel based windows based basically a laptop or a system whatever i want now this uh, windows this laptops none of them actually offers battery life similar to a Ma macbook at least the newer generation apple silicon based macbooks whether it's air or pro does not matter none of them actually offer same kind of battery life none of them offers portability the lightweight and sturdy and not only this very good looking this kind of systems are not available in windows that can actually run uh, linux so this is also one of the reason for using mac os or macbook i can say okay now as i said earlier you may argue that why not use linux so if i use linux since it's one of the most popular operating system it always has a huge target on its back and for server environment we secure it in a different way which is not applicable when it's come to desktop in a server environment basically you have you're giving access to multiple users depending upon what kind of service you are offering now suppose if it's share hosting or if you're offering unix shell account you actually use jail shell or some other security measure in which if the even if that user gets infected or hacked your main server is still secure your root is still secure and the infection in that particular user won't affect other users moreover you can even use the virtualization to separate each and every process or task like uh, if you're suppose uh, running a shared hosting business some of them uses jail shell like cloud linux and all those things some of them uh, are using virtualization like they set up web server in a different vps they set up mysql and other things on a different vps cgi and all those things maybe another different vps something like that is also possible but all of that can be implemented on a server environment now if you're talking about the desktop environment if you try to set up this kind of system first of all it requires a lot of extra efforts a lot of extra time and the environment or the use case is actually too, very different over here now if suppose your own account in a linux environment gets infected all your data is actually in there so even if you implement all kind of security jail shell or whatever it does not really matter because if your main account is infected or hacked all your data is already gone so that thing is not possible for server environment linux is actually one of the best operating system but when it comes to desktop it is not sorry i'm not trying to offend anybody i myself is a linux user but only on server environment not desktop third user to use macbook as a sysadmin is the apple ecosystem see apple ecosystem offers a lot of special features like uh, hands off continuity universal control and then even the icloud and a lot of other things now i am a uh, what do you say i'm 100 percent into apple ecosystem i of course started with uh, an iphone then eventually i liked it so much uh, the stability and everything that i have completely gone into an apple ecosystem i'm using macbook i'm using ipad pro i'm using macbook I, i'm using iphone i'm using apple watch each and everything now for example i'm using secure crt for ssh 
so what happens i have hundreds of server so all of them are added and stored in secure crt now if i am just moving in in the town itself on the move so i and if anything goes wrong or if i need to check a server i don't need to carry my ipad or laptop or macbook all the time with me i can simply log in to that server from my iphone but i cannot keep adding those hundred servers manually into my iphone whatever ssh client i use but now since i'm using secure crt which is available for iphone as well as macbook as well as ipad so all i have to do is once all the connections are added or once all the servers are added in my macbook i can simply uh, export uh, that all the server list into my iphone now i don't need to manually add even the username or password in my iphone it will directly connect to it so this is actually the advantage of uh, what you say apple equals one of the advantages one more thing now i am using uptime robot for monitoring my servers if any server goes down i get uh, alert immediately i have actually installed the uptime robot app on my iphone but even if my iphone is not with me i do still get alert on my apple watch or i don't need to actually look on my iphone all the time for all kind of notifications whether it's an update from uh, my staff or anything on slack i get all notifications on uh, on my apple watch and i am able to use these features only because i am into apple ecosystem there are many more uh, case scenario now suppose if i was uh, just researching on something i found a good article on my mobile and i thought okay fine let's implement it on the server or let's try it on my server so what i do is i don't need to keep looking on my mobile for that if the site is open on my iphone i simply go to my macbook and i will find that icon over there and i can actually open that very same site from that very same position directly on my macbook so this is also one more advantage i can copy paste between my macbook I and iPhone or iPad Pro so all of these things actually make things with our productivity much better it improves your productivity and then fourth reason is the reliability portability battery life i have been using macbook and imac for almost 15 years or maybe even more and as far as i remember till date my macbook never died on me especially while traveling if i am traveling i never had problem with battery life especially after the apple silicon was introduced now battery life i easily get 10 plus hours on my macbook pro now suppose if i'm going out on travel or on a business trip i hardly carry my charger with me to the client's office i keep the charger and everything directly in my hotel room and i simply carry my macbook i need not carry the charger with me because battery lasts so long not only this macbooks are very good looking they look good or presentable while you are in your client's office or presenting something and also now suppose if your client offers you to copy some file on a system or some in a windows system it you are at much high, much higher risk uh, of viruses but in macbook see since windows is actually the most popular operating system and if you get a pen drive or something there for from which you need to copy data into a macbook if the uh, pen drive is coming from a windows system you need not worry even if the files in it are infected with any virus because they won't affect your macbook so there are actually lot of benefits now it all again comes to security so actually macbook increases your productivity it gives you security peace of mind reliability portability and you can actually rely on it and final my final words macbook actually offers much better reliability portability and overall performance when compared to a windows system so that's all for this video i hope you like the video and i am not trying to offend anybody but these are my personal opinion or personal thought if you think it cool calmly you will actually notice yeah actually these are valid points and even if you have never used a mac os or a macbook give it a try you won't repent it so i hope you like the video make sure to like the video do click on subscribe button and also do press on the notification bell so that you can get notified for my next video thank you have a great day bye bye